There's a big difference between high vibrational people versus low vibrational people. I'm gonna show you this chart right here. By looking at this chart, you could determine if you have a high vibration or a low vibration. Just looking at the scale, you can see at the top it says love, joy, and down below it says like the negative about jealousy, anger, all that. But by looking at this chart, you can get an idea of where you are at with your vibration, but not enough. So in this video, I'm going to tell you more information to know if you are truly a high vibrational being. I truly believe that I am on a high vibration. That's why I'm able to tell you guys how you know if you're on a high vibration. So let's go. This first sign to know if you are truly ascending on a higher vibration is when you are really unbothered. Like, like the stuff that average people will get bothered by, you won't get bothered by it. Somebody looks at them funny or bothered by what people say or a person doing something that they don't like. Higher vibrational people do not take that personally because there's no reason to it. All it does is going to damage us. You realize that none of this stuff really matters at all. Like, it's not that personal, it's not that serious. There's more stuff to this life than just taking little stuff personally, like why? But bro, you could be a really chill person but still not be on a high vibration because it's your choices, it's how you act. It's not just being quiet or whatever. I know some people who are characterized as a chill person but, but their vibration is not high at all. They get angry fast, they don't wanna be, they don't wanna help people, they don't wanna you see how it is higher vibration means that you attract more at a higher level lower vibrational people cannot attract what we can but i don't want this to seem like all oh, superior or inferior it's just how it is lower vibrational people have a hard time attracting what they want or they constantly attract the wrong things because their mind is weak this is why i constantly say work on your mindset because when your mindset is weak you're gonna stay at a low vibration you're not gonna attract what you want you're gonna be sad you're gonna be miserable lonely depressed a lot of high vibrational people aren't bothered because we know that there's more stuff that we can do than with our time than just get mad or argue with somebody we can do so much stuff with our energy that is going to bring more value than just arguing with someone who is not worth our time that's the first sign but the second sign that you are sending at a higher vibration is when you don't need nobody you are self-efficient. I love being self-efficient, bro. I love independence. When you keep asking people to do something for you or just having a person beside you doing stuff with you all the time and not doing it for yourself, you're not going to really have all the energy to yourself. You're going to constantly feel like you're in need for someone. You're not going to feel like you can do anything with yourself. If you keep asking people, okay, there's nothing wrong with asking people for help, but like when you keep asking people, can you do this for me? Can you tell me this and that? And like you're asking people to be your own whatever savior or whatever like bro nobody's gonna save you except yourself in order to gain a higher vibration you have to fix your mind and we know that we can only help ourselves their mind will determine if you can get in a higher vibration or not not the physical stuff that other people help you with obviously we need people we need people to help us with certain things but not for everything in life sometimes i don't understand how human beings can be around so much people all the time like i don't know i can't think straight or deeply when i'm around people like that's why i just feel like i'm better on my own but it could be different for you we probably may like being around people that's fine i'm always alone in nature i don't need people talking to me i don't need people walking with me i just walk by myself because i feel like i'm with god and it's a blessing that we get to get to this state but this third sign to know if you are in a high vibration i talked about this in my other video one time when you have a higher intuition and you're at a higher consciousness you're going to have a higher vibration this is one of the rewards of doing the inner work for your mind you know stuff that lower vibrational people cannot see because they're too stuck in their own struggles they're too stuck in their own little like whatever crap they don't know how to be themselves you're gonna have situations where you just know wow my gut feeling actually prevents me from doing this thing or i actually chose the right path you know like you're gonna have those type of scenarios like i had these before when i was going down the street a certain way i knew like okay hmm, i probably shouldn't go this way the store's probably not that way it's about your memory too your memory kicks in with your intuition even while I'm in nature too, if you're wondering how I'm not afraid about anything, it's because I use my intuition. Whenever I'm in nature, I be going far out, so I have to really use my memory to remember where I'm at so I could go back to where I came from. You're not focusing on who's telling you this, what, whatever. You're focusing on what your soul's telling you. You're focusing on the right things that God wants you to focus on. And that's when you know, okay, you're on the right path. You're going to get a higher vibration. You're going to know things that are going to help you. You have to help yourself first before you can help people. And that's when you could actually be truly selfless enough to love others. Like you ever notice how some people don't know how to get into their intuition? You ever see those scary movies where people just act dumb, go the wrong way, 
their intuition doesn't tell them anything they're just like a walking being they go wherever the uh, monster is or go into a house that they're not supposed to but their intuition doesn't tell them anything they're not really clicked in with their self enough to protect themselves and that can be scary if you want more information on how to know you have higher intuition you can check out my last video one of my videos i'm gonna put the picture right here it's low vibrational people cannot get to intuition this fourth sign to know if you're on a high vibration is when you're just a pure soul a lot of people tell me bro i'm so childlike like i'm so innocent and all that like i do believe that i am that way honestly the best way to live life is by being a pure soul because children are the most happiest beings you've ever seen right the main reason why people do not want to have a pure soul or act like they're child innocence or whatever because they want to be like so-called normal they don't want to be perceived as abnormal to other people because oh they're scared what people think i know y'all watched my last video there's nothing wrong with being innocent nothing wrong with having a pure soul you don't have to act like gangster just to be like acting like you're grown up or acting like you know stuff most of the time people do not want to act their true self because they're scared of what people think they want to fit in they don't want to be like the odd one out or they just look at innocence as oh that's not for me society tells me to act this way meanwhile you're missing out on what you can do for yourself if you went back in history and saw how people acted without technology people acted as so innocent whenever people will look at something new they'll see they'll be so shocked they'll be like oh my gosh even even if it's a cool looking rock they'll be like a kid little kid with a new toy and if you're a christian you know why jesus tells us to be so pure tells us not to sin tells us not to do bad things is because it's for us to live a better life i feel like the right way to live life on earth is to live it purely that's why in the bible god tells us not to do these certain things not to just be mean or whatever it's just for us to be happy i believe the bible is the book of life Ever since I was 13, I've been studying the Bible, learning and doing these things. This is how I became who I am today. This is how I gained so much knowledge. This is how God has blessed me so much because I followed him. I followed what God told me. Now look who I am. A happy soul. The whole reason why you see people fighting and arguing is because people have their own issues inside of themselves. They don't want to listen to God. They don't want to listen to their own soul. They just want to rebel. They want to do their own thing. They don't want to listen to God. They don't want to be like, oh, let me actually be pure and listen. As long as you don't worship the devil, whatever your Lord is telling you, whatever you believe in, is going to be for your own good, for peace. This next sign is when people feel comfortable around you. And I also get people who tell me, oh, I feel so comfortable around you. I don't know why. I feel like it's because it's my aura. My aura is very like vibrant people tell me that all the time like i have a vibrant aura and we obviously can't see our aura but it's all around us like we can't see the wind like we can't see the air we can't see certain things but somehow people can feel them somehow we can know that something is there and we can't really explain or prove these existences we can feel them with energy i truly believe that everything is energy like without energy we wouldn't be moving i wouldn't be moving right now if I had no energy in my body, no electricity moving, I would just be a human body. This is why the flesh doesn't matter. Your flesh is the last thing that you should be worried about. This is why I say, follow your soul. Don't even focus on what you look like. If you know that you gotta do something important for your soul, your spirit, for God, don't really focus on what you look like. Focus more on the inner. Your outer will look more beautiful than you actually imagine. We all are gonna get old. We all gonna get wrinkly. We all gonna like turn into dust. So I don't know. A lot of people focus too much on the outer. I'm trying to get y'all to focus on your soul. There's certain people that you can be comfortable around and there's certain people that you don't feel comfortable around. Like there's strangers that I sit next to on the bus and suddenly I'll feel comfortable around a certain person. But after the next person sits next to me, I'll feel some type of way like, hold on. Why do I feel like unsafe or maybe this person is like Ugh. and it's not even about how the person looks like It's literally a random regular looking person. But sometimes it's just their energy. The reason why you feel uncomfortable or comfortable around a person is because it depends on how much that person does the inner work for themselves. When you are in a higher vibration, you can tell quicker about who's good to be around versus who's not. Personally, I'm very picky about who's in my life because of this specific reason about how I feel around people. This is why you always have to trust your intuition. How you feel is more important than whatever other person can be doing or saying or whatever. But I hope you all like this video so much. Thank you so much for watching. My battery died, that's why I'm talking on a voiceover, but I'ma head out. Until next time, hello, I just bye y'all.